Hello everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe with Review Lagoon, and we're going to be taking a look at a neat little product today called the Minova OTG uh, SD card adapter. And uh, OTG is an on-the-go cable. You've probably seen something similar. Uh, most of them look something like this, where plugging this into your um, plugging this into your USB port will give you. Uh, or your micro USB port will give you an adapter that you can actually plug in some form of USB device. So you could end up with something that looks something similar to this. You've got your cable, some sort of a card reader, and then your flash memory goes in here, and now you've got a device that um, ends up dangling from the rafters. Not the greatest solution. So what these guys came up with, get rid of those, is they came up with this. This is the Minova or Minova little tiny on the go adapter. As you can see, it's got a micro USB plug on it. And if you look close, right here, and I have no fingernails to get it out, right here is where you actually put in the micro SD card. So this works as a two fold deal it replaces the cable and it replaces the card reader. So you just stick this little guy right in there. It does come with a little carrying dust cap. And they include with it a little something that you can hook on to your key ring. So the concept here is take it with you on the go. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of devices here. Um, oddly enough, only one of them has a micro SD card that I believe is my S4. My wife says three might have one, but I do have two Nexus devices here, the Nexus 7 and of course the Nexus 10. Neither one of those, of course, have a micro SD slot, so you're kind of stuck with whatever memory you get. Now, you don't have to have a rooted device to use this little guy in most cases. Most devices, especially the Samsung line, like my Samsung Galaxy S4, you'll simply just plug this little guy in. All right, and it shows up. You can see here that it says USB mass adapter is there. And you'll also notice it says that the storage is blank or unsupported. That's because I have the card formatted to something else. So I actually have to go in and shut off the built-in Samsung stuff and use something over the counter, such as USB OTG adapter, which is what I use the helper. I say yes. And in this case, it requires root, but as long as I had formatted the card to a different operating system, it would have been a little bit easier. Uh, so there you go. So I can mount it, and now I have a micro SD card solution that um, doesn't look terrible. In fact, it looks kind of cool. And if you're one of those people that hold your phone like this, it actually gives your finger a little something to lay against. All right. Unmount it and pull it out. So that really doesn't uh, have a huge impact on a small device like this. But what about something like a Nexus 7? Uh, again, very simply put, this guy plugs right in. Now, the Nexus 7 and my Nexus 10 are both running custom ROM, so it's kind of an unfair test to show uh, how this works. But essentially, you'll get something similar um, depending on what... Uh, application you decide you want to use. Um, there are several uh, on the market out there right now. My kid was watching Peanuts, great. Um, so in this case, um, it does not automatically mount, but I do have other tools on here that I could mount it with. But once again, we're talking about a very small, unobtrusive item, and if you were really worried about it, you could flip the device like this and have it on top, almost like a little antenna. Now, this is probably something I would still not give to my six-year-old to play around with. This is his tablet, as you can tell by all the chew marks in the ghost armor. Um, but again, oh, there it goes. I said it removed the SD, USB device, so that did work just fine. And if you're looking at yet another device, my Nexus 10, I love it. Just shove the little guy right in here. And once again, you have a situation where it's preparing the USB device and it's going to utilize it 
as I see fit. Now again, you can tell there's a little bit of protrusion on here, but whether you're in portrait or in landscape, either way, it's not going to get in your way, it's not going to hang down, it's probably not going to get snagged on anything. And the best part is, this goes with you. So, whichever device you might need, be it, um, I think this will work with my wife's uh, case. They made it nice and long, which you'll notice is huge, to make sure that it can go in with a case. And you can see it works also with my wife's Samsung Galaxy S3. She's pretty stock. And it also says it's blank because it's using a different uh, file format than it wants. Again, that's an easy fix. Probably should have done that before the demo. But anyway, so there you have it. This was actually a successful Kickstarter project. They had some... Um, uh, mechanical issues up front initially uh, manufacturing issues I should say but um, they got it all out to everybody and they really made good on it it's it, it, it doesn't feel super cheap it doesn't feel like this is gonna break off um, and the price is fairly reasonable I think um, uh, non Kickstarter backers they're asking I think ten or twelve dollars uh, which is really not much more than um, you know this guy here and it's certainly a lot more attractive. Something you can take with you, something you can reuse. Uh, this is perfect if you're a power user and you've got rooted devices. Uh, this is absolutely essential to have something like this, especially with the Nexus 10 um, or the Nexus 7 where you have no ability to um, stick in an SD card and use something like titanium backup or whatever to back up your system, to do your NAND, uh, Nandroid backups to whatever. This little guy's perfect. You put as much memory as you need and I can rotate it through all the devices and do titanium backups on each and every one of them as I need it. So this is a very handy little device. This is the Mi Nova, M-E-N-O-V-A device. And I believe they are now shipping to non-backers, not initial uh, backers. Uh, all the Kickstarter folks have gotten theirs, but I think they're starting to ship to the non-backers, just the regular retail people. So you want to check it out. Be sure to check out um, Review Lagoon as well. That's uh, our, my host site, as well as Green Robot Gamer, so that you can figure out what kind of games you want to play on these little guys. Um, I do a lot of work there as well. So anyway, I hope you had a, a good time looking at this little device. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to post them. I'll uh, answer whatever questions I might have. And uh, I don't know the maximum capacity of this. It's got a 32 gig card in it without problems, but I imagine it will probably go higher uh, than that. I just can't give you that test. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Join us at We60DS, that's our channel on YouTube, and of course, ReviewLagoon.com and uh, GreenRobotGamer.com. This is Shane Armand Rowe. Have a good one.